Welcome to the People Show. It's a great honor to be here. It's a new week, and I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the loveliest weeks in the history of the People Show. My name is Comrade Koleto Buade, and I have something for you, especially those of you who were at the demonstration, the Kumi Preku reloaded demonstration over the weekend on the 5th, Saturday, November. In fact, I want to say we salute all of you, for all of you who took the time, who went, came together so that we demonstrate and send a strong message to the leaders of this nation, to the political class that we've had enough of the what? Of the rot. I salute each and every one of you, the women especially. There were a lot of women, young women, older women, we salute you because we know with you, we will make history. We will make the change, the transformational change. And all the men, the young men, the older men, in fact, there were people in wheelchairs. I salute you all because you know, at the end of the day, it is not the critic who matters because anybody can sit and criticize. Anybody can sit on the fence. Anybody can sit somewhere and just point fingers, but not those of us, not those of you who were at the demonstration, who got yourselves, your placards, you and your t-shirts, and the energy, and the drumming, and the everything. We must continue this action, because nothing is going to bring the system to a halt for a new system to begin until we mount the pressure, until we continue to drive home our message, until we continue to send the message to those behind the corruption, the rot, the collapse of our, our economy, until we keep hammering, until we keep moving in the same direction, until we keep doing that, our destiny will be locked up in the hands of the enemies of our nation. The enemies who, since 1992, have held Ghana in check, have kept Ghana backward. Today, I want to salute all of you who were at the demonstration over the weekend. And I'm saying that we need to continue. We need to keep the mobilization. We need to bring in more people. We need to get more people. And this time, we must not demonstrate on the weekend. We must demonstrate a, on a weekday. We must be able to stop the cars from moving, stop workers, let everything come to a halt so that everybody can tell what's going on and be part of it because the demonstrators are demonstrating for all of us. Today, the crisis we are in is affecting the majority of us except the political ruling class who are profiting, benefiting, and they are not feeling anything from what we are feeling. They get free fuel, free accommodation, free hospital uh, 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 health care. Look, so they don't feel what we are feeling. They don't understand what we are going through. But we must make them understand. The only way we can make them understand is to remove the carpets under their feet, is to remind them of who they are, if to remind them that we put them there, is to let them know that, look, they can't take the people for a ride. We are, the people are crying for new leadership, a new generation, a new, new, new something, because MPP and NDC, since 1992, we've had only these two political parties taking, ruling us. And look, there has never been a success story. And if since 1992 to 2022, there's no success story, you tell me, when are we going to get in a success story? When are we going to have the economic emancipation, the cultural social liberation, the political emancipation? When are we going to have it? So for those of you who didn't take part in the demonstration, who didn't go, you didn't support, well, I've got a message for you. The opportunity is there. You need to join this time round. 
because it will not stop. We are not going to stop. Everybody should join. Every person, especially if you're a young man, if you're a young lady, this is our time. Nobody is coming to save us. And we cannot leave the struggle for old men and old women who have no vision, who have no sympathy, who have no care for the future generations of our people. We must understand that this is a historical mission. It's a scientific necessity, and it must happen. We must what? Make it happen. We must clear the way for the emergence of a new leadership, new era, where prosperity, where abundance is a normal thing, where we don't have school children going to school under trees, where women and young girls sleep on the streets. That cannot be our portion. We must create a society where we believe in, a society that we are all proud that this is our own, this is our own creation, that this is the heritage that we want to live for our children because we believe in it, because we love what we have created. Look, we cannot continue this way. The, 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 the Fourth Republic has to end. We have, the, look, they said multi-party democracy. Two or more, that's what that's supposed to mean. But it is a, it's a dictatorship. It's a dictatorship of, uh, uh, of uh, party A and party B. It's a gentleman's agreement between Kotoka and Afrifa because it was Kotoka and Afrifa who came together to destroy the First Republic. So it is the same party A and party B who have come together and they have this gentleman's agreement that Charlie, you do eight years and then I also do eight years. But you and I are awakened. There's no reason to live in darkness. There's no reason to, to accept the, the pretense as if uh, 2024, uh, there's no reason to think 2024, some group are coming to help anybody. It's another group coming to take advantage of us, coming to treat us and take us for a ride. And that, I'm telling you, we've been cheated enough, we've been exploited enough, we've been manipulated enough, we've had a deception enough, we've been oppressed enough, and I believe that should be a wake-up call. The only positive thing that has come, or that will have to come from what we've been through, is because we are now awakened. Our eyes are opened. Now, we can see the enemy. We can see the enemy because at first, most of you, you don't even know who the enemy is. You didn't even know who our enemies are. But today, you know who the enemy is. The enemy, you can see the enemy. And look, the enemy came to destroy our homeland, to kill and to destroy. So today, that has to cease. Look, I continue to say it. I salute all of you, those of you who are at the, the, the Kumipraku Reloaded demonstration. We must continue, and we must demonstrate on weekdays. We must stop this weekend, weekend demonstration. We must demonstrate on a weekday, on a working day, so that everybody in the country will feel our presence, will stop the traffic, and, and, and we march to, to the president's office so that every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every Kweku, Mansa, and Yaovi will know that, look, the action is happening. Because we cannot, and I repeat, Nana must step down. MPP and NDC must be ruled out. We are looking for a new generation to emerge. And we are going to build this nation together. We will all build this nation together. There will be no child who is walking around at a school going age. No child today in the mornings, children walking around, not going to school because leadership crisis, leadership failure. We have failed, but our generation must not fail. We must never fail our generation. It is not going to be an easy battle because 
they are not going to just walk away. Until there's a fight, they will not walk away. So we must be ready to fight. If we are not ready to fight, then we don't want to get to the promised land. But to get to the promised land, we must be ready to fight. Ready to fight for what we believe is ours. Ready to fight for what we know is ours. Ready to fight for what we know is our destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow countrymen, I've come to tell you that the fight has begun. And those of you who didn't fight along us, you should join the fight. It's never too late. It's never too late to be part of this historical history making. For all of you who are part of this demonstration, you are historical officers. Historical officers. But I salute the ladies more. I salute the ladies more. The ladies, you were fantastic. All the ladies at the Kumi Preku Reloaded demonstration, you were fantastic. You are the reason why we are going to continue this mobilization, this movement to stop the, the Fourth Republic, this two-party dictatorship, we, this two-party dictatorship. We are not going to allow ourselves to be taken for a ride. And you must never allow yourself to be taken for a ride. As I speak now, I know that you feel the pain. You feel the energy of we fighting for our, our generation, fighting to end the, 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 the sheer incompetence and the sheer alienation of our people, of, of, the, of the ordinary man. We have alienated the ordinary man. We have made hardship like a way of life. Why? Because you are getting everything for free. You are getting um, everything. Our, our political ruling class, they get everything for free. So they don't feel what we feel. But ladies and gentlemen, let us make them feel something. They will remember us. We must make them remember that it is not everybody you take a, for a ride. It is not everybody you take advantage of. It's not everybody that you use and exploit and abuse. And I tell you one thing, that Ose Sikam Perov, it is you, the political class, Muna Moye Rof. Muna Moye Rof. Because we are going to show you that it is not a rough business, it's a serious business. Nation building is a serious business. So you tell me, what should we do? I would like to hear from you. Let me see your comments. Let me see your response. Whether you are going to join the mobilization or not, you are needed. Like I'm saying, the critic is a nobody. You are sitting on the fence, you are doing nothing, and all you do is criticize, all you do is point fingers, all you do is just to say, look at them. Well, look at us. Take a good look at us. We are fighting for what we know will liberate all of us and give us dignity and pride in ourselves. We love ourselves. That's why we know what we're doing is the right thing to do. So stop being a critic. Stop sitting on the fence. Stop being a spectator. Let's all come on board and build our nation. Build that society that we can be proud of. Because I believe in you and I. I believe you and I, when we come together, we will make history and make this nation proud, great and strong. Because that is the call for our generation. Once again, it's been a lovely time spending with you. This is the People's Show. My name is Comrade Kolete Obwade, and remember that the truth is always here in your eyes. Studios to view. The truth is here in your eyes.